What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. Today, we're going to be talking about Carlos Nosebar and where I think he can end up driving heading into the 2024 NASCAR season. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This past week in a gateway, after crashing out to a brake rotor issue, Carlos Nosebar stated to the media that he does not have a ride currently at the moment heading into the 2024 NASCAR season. So today, we're going to talk about where Carlos Nosebar could potentially end up driving heading into the 2024 season. Now, Carlos Nosebar, like I mentioned, is one of the top prospects in NASCAR is currently at the moment. He has been extremely impressive in 2023, scoring his first career truck series victory in Texas, albeit it was a very controversial one that Carlos Nosebar had. He still was really, really impressive. And if you look over the last five to six weeks, despite how bad the year started for him and how controversial it been, over the last five or six truck series races, he's been impressive and has been leading a lot of laps as well. And also during that time, he's made his NASCAR Xfinity Series debut and has made a couple Xfinity Series starts with Spire Motorsports as well. And in both of those Xfinity Series starts with Spire Motorsports, he had finished inside the top 10. Yes, most technically are junior motorsports cars. Aspire does end up alliance with junior motorsports in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. But still, Cars so far has been extremely impressive and been up to speed really, really quickly. I was not expecting him to do as good as he's done. You also look how good he's generally been with Nice Motorsports over the last few years. And I think he's been really good with the Nice camp as well. And I also mentioned this as well. He made his NASCAR Cup Series debut this past weekend at Gateway, and he was extremely impressive in that debut. Obviously, he had the brake rotor issue come into play. Before the brake rotor problem came into play, he was in 16th place and catching off Dillon and potentially going to get a top 15 finish in a Spire car that has not been fast generally in NASCAR. So there's a lot of talk about his future. So let's now go through the teams that Carson Spark could end up driving for heading into the 2024 season. The first team that he could end up driving for heading into 2024 is Junior Motorsports. Now, Junior Motorsports could potentially have a few rides open heading into the 2024 season. But the most likely ride that could end up being available for Carson Osvar heading into the 2024 season that is Junior Motorsports is the number 8 car. Now, why is the 8 car the most likely spot for Carson Osvar at the Junior Motorsports camp? Well, it's been rumored over the last weeks and it's likely to be announced in the coming weeks that Josh Bray is going to be leaving Junior Motorsports to go up to the Cups after how impressive he's been in a select cup series race to drive for Hendrick Motorsports. A lot of people expect that Josh Bree is going to be taking the place of Kevin Harvick heading into 2024 and will drive the four car heading into the season. So that's a ride that will be open for cars so far in 2024 if he goes to junior motorsports. But another reason that a lot of people think that Carlos Nosebar could end up driving the eight car heading in 2024 is he was praised by Dale Jr. on social media during his debut before the brake rotor broke. He was running up front and doing a great job, and Dale Jr. was praising Carlos Nosebar in his debut. But the biggest reason why a lot of people think that Carlos Nosebar could end up driving is because the alliance Aspire Motorsports has with Junior Motorsports. Well, I already mentioned this a few minutes ago, but Aspire Motorsports Xfinity Service Program has an alliance with Junior Motorsports in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. So Carson is getting some really strong and really great equipment. And I don't think that Dale Jr., who've also heard recently that Carson Osbar was basically in the Junior Motorsports shop right before he made his debut with Spire Motorsports, or his second start with Spire Motorsports, because he made his debut with SS Green Live Racing in the 07 team in substitution, I believe, was for Stephen Parsons, or I believe it was uh, part Blaine Perkins, if I'm not mistaken. That being said, I think the A car is the most likely position. This could be a really good ride they go to. Obviously, this is a championship count caliber team. Junior Motorsports is a great organization. This could be a really strong team that he can end up going to heading into 2024. The second team that Carson Osbar could end up driving in 2024 is a 42 for Nice Motorsports. Now, obviously, Nice Motorsports, a lot of their, the kind of their team, we don't know a lot of their plans until late in the year. But Nice Motorsports always had a really good working relationship with Carson Osbar. Carson has said that Cody Efa and Al Nice really like working with Carson. If you look at Carson Osbar, he's been the best driver they've had since Rosh has seen competing for them in 2019. And we look at Carson Osbar's performances when he's not making a Mistakes on the racetrack, he's been impressive. And when you compare his other teammates about with the Nice Motorsports camp in the past, or you look at the times you've seen Rosh has seen the truck, he generally outperforms all those drivers, and he's been really, really good with the team. There was at one point a lot of talk that Nice Motorsports even going to go cup racing with Carson Osbar making his debut as early as last season. They were talking about going after the cup series, and Nice Motorsports could be a really strong team to work with. Maybe if they decide to go to the Xfinity series, that could be a really strong route. But I think that Carson Osbar could return to the truck series, makes 
some swag starts with Nice Motorsports. I don't think he's going to go full tight with Nice Motorsports, but this could be a really strong possibility and one possibility that I have definitely have my eyes out on because, like I said, they have a really good working relationship and they work together very, very well. And maybe just maybe they want to keep around long term, but this could be the second team that Carson Osmar could end up driving heading into 2024. The third team that Carson Osbar could end up driving for heading into 2024 is Spire Motorsports. Now, it's very likely that Corey LaJoy is going to return to the number seven car for Spire Motorsports heading into 2024. Let's talk about the second entry. Let's actually first talk about the Xfinity Series program. This is the first one that Carson Osbar could end up driving for Spire Motorsports. We could see Spire Motorsports' Xfinity Series program potentially expand to a full-time operation with an alliance from Junior Motorsports. Obviously, they don't have full-time operations operation in trucks, and they don't have full-time more operation Xfinity, but I would imagine with Spire Motorsports dipping into the truck series and dipping the Xfinity series, I would have to imagine that Spire Motorsports is looking in a foreseeable future of maybe expanding both their Xfinity and truck programs to full-time deals, and I think Carson Osbar would fit the 77 car very, very well. He would be a playoff contender, and I think he would be extremely competitive and extremely fast right off the get-go, so this could be a possibility in the Xfinity series, but not just the Xfinity series could be a possibility for Carson Aspire, he could drive the number 77 Cup car for Aspire Motorsports as well. Look, if you ask me about Ty Dillon, I think Ty Dillon's an okay driver. However, Ty Dillon has respectfully had a terrible season so far. He is currently the worst of points of all the full-time drivers. He's behind drivers like Eric Jones and Noah Grace who've had penalties or issues on the racetrack or Chase Lee who's been suspended or out for half a year due to injury. Ty Dillon is not living up to the hype and living up to the potential of some people have with Spire Motorsports, so let's be honest, no one really had a lot, any hype for Ty Dillon going into the season. If you put Carson Osbar in that 77 car, he may not be an instant championship threader, do really great with the team from the get-go, but I certainly think he would be a lot closer to car to Cody Corey LaJoy and would probably be competing for top 30 in points pretty consistently. Plus, I think Carson Osbar deserves an opportunity to make some Cup Series starts as well. I think he'd do a really, really good job, and obviously you could see him maybe go to Junior Motorsports Cup if they decide to go Cup racing, but I would imagine if this is a team that he's absolutely maybe looking at because he's now had a working relationship with that team, and this could be a potential possibility heading into the 2024 season. I think Spire's a team to watch out for. This could be a sweet, sweet wild card and a slaver pick for the season, and I think there's definitely a chance of that happening. The next team that Carson Osbar could end up driving for heading into 2024 is Colic Racing. Now, Colic Racing is a team that really, really before coming into the 2023 season, we didn't know the plans of the drivers till the end of 2022 for 2023. And I think there could be some rides that could end up being available for Colic Racing. Look, I'm going to talk about Daniel Hemrick here because Daniel Hemrick, while I think Daniel Hemrick is a decent driver overall, Daniel Hemrick has also been pretty disappointing in the tiers he has been with Colic Racing. I thought he was going to do a lot better recall race in the season considering how good Colic had been in 2021 especially when we look how good Justin Haley had been in 2021 and also that AJ Allmendinger had been with the team I think that we all thought that he was going to do much better than he has been doing and sadly he has not been really showing huge improvement in 2022 now I do also think the call race is taking a little bit of a step backwards but even though Daniel Hemmer does have funding and sponsorship that's helping him out currently at the moment, I would still have to imagine that they are going to be looking away from Daniel Hemmer potentially at the end of the year or someone else in the team, maybe looking at a Christian Eckes perhaps as well. But Carson Osbar would fit the call group. They've got really good personalities over there, and I think this team could be a really good position. I think Chris Rice would love to have Carson Osbar on his organization, on his team. And this could be a potential possibility heading into 2023. I think Colg is a potential possibility, and maybe he'll end up heading there in 2024. And the final team that I can see Carson Osbar heading to in 2024 is Rich Schultz Racing's Xfinity Series program, or maybe even their Cup Series program if they were to expand. Now, Rich Schultz Racing, we don't know the long-term future of this team. Obviously, Sheldon Creed Austin will currently drive for the organization. I expect that he they will still remain in the RSO organization. However, there is a potential possibility that Austin Hill could go full-time in the Cup Series in a third Rich Schultz Racing car, maybe a second RCR car, maybe, like I said, a third Rich Schultz Racing racing car. I think Austin Hill's definitely ready to make the jump up to the Cup Series, which this, which this could open up the 21 car for Carson Hosebar. 
Carson Osbar, if you put him in a Richels racing car, he is going to instantly be a championship threat and a championship contender. And Dale Jr., I think, has a really good working relationship, and Earnhardt family has a really good working relationship with Richard Childers. So I would have to imagine that they're definitely looking at this as a potential possibility. I think this is the least likely potential possibility of happening, but I would imagine an RCR could be a team to watch for going into 2024 as a potential possibility. Nothing's guaranteed and nothing's out the window, but I think that this could be a slight possibility of ending up happening. So, those are the teams that could end up picking up Carson. So, what teams do I think are the most likely to pick up Carson? Well, I think it comes down to three organizations. The first one being Junior Motorsports. Like I said already at the beginning of this episode, Junior Motorsports, likely Josh Berry, will be going to the Cup Series next year. And I think Junior Motorsports would be a really good team to work with. They are a championship caliber organization. He'd obviously have a really good crew chief to work with, that being Taylor Moyer, who has been a, dry, a crew chief who's done really good in the Xfinity Series. And I think Carson knows far would fit these Xfinity Series much better, and I think he would develop and learn very, very quickly. The second most likely team, I would say, is Nice Motorsports. Nice Motorsports, like I said, has a good working relationship with Carson Hosobar, and I would imagine that Carson Hosobar would do a really good job still working with Nice, but I don't know if Carson wants to stay in the truck series too longer. I think he deserves to be in the Xfinity series. He's proved himself time and time again, and if you had to ask me, I think that you are not really learning much if you're staying in the truck series long term. I think he's going to learn a lot quicker and become a better driver racing the Xfinity series because he's going to race a lot more respectfully. Because if you look at Xfinity series runs, he tends to run really, really good in Xfinity and run a lot more respectfully and run more cleanly than he does in the truck series. So I think this could be a potential possibility. But the final team, like I said, would be Spire Motorsports. They've already had Carter so Hosvar making Xfinity Series starts with that team. And they could make Cup starts as well. Like I said, he made his Cup Series debut with Spire. So that could be a potential possibility heading into 2024. Nonetheless, a lot of teams are going to have an opportunity to maybe choose Carson Hosvar heading into 2024. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I think Carson Hosvar is really going to be interesting to watch. It's going to be fun to find out what happens with Carson Hosvar's future heading into 2024. And I'm really excited to see because I really like Carson Hosvar. I know that he's made mistakes over the last few years, but I think he's learned from those mistakes, and I think he's grown from those mistakes as well, and I think he's going to continue being a really good asset and a really good driver for the sport long term. Got a great personality, and I think he's done a really great job in his select starts, and I think he'll get an opportunity to run full-time with the team. My main prediction is going to be Junior Motorsports number 8 car, but nothing is off the table and nothing's out the window. Now, that is it for today's NASCAR special video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and channel notifications on to provide when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Let's go to the that and comment your thoughts below on today's video. Where do you think Carson is far as heading in 2024? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Later this evening, I'm going to have the NASCAR Xfinity Series race review from Sonoma Race for the first ever Xfinity Series race at Sonoma. Then tomorrow on the channel, we have the NASCAR Cup Series race review from Sonoma when that race concludes. Then on Monday, we're going to have a NASCAR News Review recap the news over the last couple days. And then Tuesday, I've got the biggest project on my channel dropping, the 100 Greatest NASCAR drivers of all time 2023 edition to 75th year edition and they got a lot of special content dropping i'm likely going to have maybe some silly scene stuff dropping as well that i think you're going to enjoy so anyways like i said i want to thank you guys for watching today's episode and i'll see you guys next time for more great awesome nascar content and other motorsports content on the channel like this take care everybody